Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV or Source 4 Figure and Model Updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on Figure Friday I'm going to be looking at Manjin Kim's most recent release, a 1-9 scale resin bust. This is the Orc. So let's dive right into it. So these kits come really well packaged. This one comes in two bundles, bags within bags. Let's start with the main components. We've got the actual bust itself and the plinth. Managing Kim stuff typically comes with a resin plinth to mount the figure on if you don't have a wooden plinth that you want to use. So as you can see, there's a lot of really positive locating ports on the back. That These all get covered up, of course. You don't have to fill them in. Um, they get covered by his pauldrons and his backpack. Yeah. Just the absolute crisp detail on this figure is absolutely amazing. Everything from his jewelry to his, uh, all the bones around his neck. That's fantastic. And one thing to note, there's no sheen off this figure, that like semi-gloss look that you get off some resin kits, because this doesn't have any mold release on it. It's, it's just, it's just dry. So that cuts down on the amount of cleaning that you have to do, the amount of worrying you have to do about, uh, paint coming off the figure if it's not cleaned properly in the first stages. So yeah, it's one step down at least. So moving on, we've got some other components here. Carpace armor, uh, looks like some sort of beetle or shell animal that he's using as pauldrons. And as you can see, more locating ports here. These get covered up as well by uh, some of his decorations that he has. Really awesome stuff. Let's move on, this backpack, the scabbard gets located here, and this is where his javelins go, his quiver for his javelins. More animal hair. That's really awesome. The two locating pins that go on his back, so it's going to make a really positive fit. There's no ambiguity about how how it is mated with the figure itself. Here we have his other pauldron. This is really, really metal with the addition of a some sort of skull on the on his shoulder armor. That's really awesome. Now, let's move on to the second bag. This has his weapons in it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look here. This beefy scabbard he has for his blade. And these are the different javelins that go in his quiver. So yeah, this is just fantastic. Again, more really crisp detail on the wrappings around his scabbard. Really get that harmonious look where every piece of equipment is manufactured with animal hair, you could assume, fur, something like that. His bone hilt on his sword, that's really awesome. So yeah. Uh, his other sidearms, two daggers, and the decorations on his pauldrons are, they look like fangs or teeth. Yeah, really good stuff. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. This has been the Orc from Managing Kim Miniatures. Check him out at highcaliberminiatures.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.